What's up everyone, welcome to the channel. This video begins what will be a five-part series ranking all 50 states in terms of natural beauty. Now when we're ranking these states, we're not really considering their major cities like New York City or Los Angeles. We're looking at everything outside of the city, hence the title, Natural Beauty. With that said, all 50 states have beautiful areas and not so beautiful areas. I get it. You don't have to point out how you live close to a state park that is absolutely breathtaking. I believe you. This is more of an average for the state in its entirety. With that said, let's get started. Number 50, Illinois. When most people think of Illinois, they think of that area in the far northeast corner of the state, Chicago. Outside of that, Illinois is pretty bland though. Illinois is the second flattest state in the country. The only state it lags behind in this category? Florida. Unlike Florida, though, they're not really known for their beaches. In fact, outside of Chicago, they're not really known for much of anything. History aside. Number 49, Kansas. Kansas is flat, although perhaps not as flat as most people think. Kansas is the seventh flattest state in the country, but whatever points they may gain for the occasional slightly rolling hill, they more than make up for with a lack of green. In case you haven't noticed, there aren't a lot of trees in Kansas. It's mostly fields and more fields. Lack of wooded areas is definitely going to get you a lower spot on this list. But if you like the plains, Kansans live a very peaceful existence. Number 48, Indiana. Indiana is the first state on our list that actually has a national park, Indiana Dunes. Also, when I'm referring to national parks in these videos, I'm referring to the 61 parks that have an official national park designation, not the 419 locations that are simply within the national park system, many of which might be national forests, monuments, or historic sites. Like its neighboring state of Illinois, though, Indiana has little to offer outside of this. In fact, if you've ever driven through Illinois and Indiana, this experience probably all blended together after a while. Number 47, Iowa. I know, I know, I'm beating up on the Midwest over here. If it's any consolation, the people are some of the nicest and most amazing people you'll ever meet. But in a country filled with breathtaking coastlines, towering mountains and canyons, flat Midwestern states full of cornfields simply don't stand out. Iowa is no exception here. Like Kansas, Iowa isn't as flat as you might think, but that isn't exactly a motto you would want to put on a license plate either. Iowa. Not as flat as you think. Number 46, Oklahoma. If you added more trees to Kansas, you would basically have its southern neighbor, Oklahoma. While Oklahoma doesn't really stand out among the pack, it does still have its areas, as all states do. The Lake Tenkiller area is particularly nice, and they even have some hills in portions of the eastern part of the state. But by and large, most people aren't exactly planning vacations around exploring Oklahoma's natural side. Number 45, Mississippi. Hey, congratulations, Mississippi. You're not 50th. Mississippi has sort of become a punching bag for some of its neighboring states who like to feel better about their own shortcomings by proclaiming, thank God for Mississippi. There are some things to like here, though. They are the first coastal state to appear on the list, and while many would argue neighboring Alabama has a nicer coastline, Mississippi does have the Natchez Trace Parkway. Also, their magnolias, live oaks, and Spanish moss create a unique southern charm. Number 44, New Jersey. If you've ever driven through New Jersey, your experience probably looked like this. Miles and miles of endless industrial factories and power lines. They also lead the nation in toxic wasteland Superfund sites. Yay! At this point, you're probably wondering why they're not ranked dead last. But once you get off the turnpike and explore the rest of New Jersey, you'll find they're not as bad as you think. After all, they are called the Garden State for a reason. Number 43, Nebraska. Picture Kansas, but further north and with more hills. That's Nebraska. Nebraska is still one of the Great Plains states, and like its neighbor, it doesn't exactly have an abundance of forests, although that depends on where you are in the state. They do have some unique geological formations you might not expect, and some nice rivers and lakes, but for the most part, there's a reason most people in other parts of the country know so little about this state. Number 42, Connecticut. 
Connecticut is the first New England state on our list and is sort of considered an outcast by other New England states who don't always want to recognize it as such. There's nothing overly impressive about Connecticut, but it does have some nice towns along the coast and some really impressive waterfalls scattered throughout the rest of the state. Then, of course, there's Thimble Islands, too. And number 41, Louisiana. Louisiana is flat, humid, and not all that impressive, unless you're going there to party. Still, it has its charm. Its bayous, wetlands, and mossy trees gives it an appeal that can only be described as distinctive. Plus, the airboat tours here are definitely worth the experience. But let's be honest, most out-of-staters don't bring their tourist dollars to this state for their nature. All right, that wraps up this first batch of states. Look, I am a firm believer there's stunning beauty in all 50 states. You just have to know where to go. With that said, some states just have more of it than others, and that's why we have lists like this. It's just one factor, and some of the states a little lower on this list might appear in the top 10 in other rankings. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for states 40 through 31 in the next video.